Praise God, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kemo Asadebe and I promise to talk about surrender and this is it. So the Lord said to me, uh, when I'm sitting down to know how to go about it, so what he said to me, he said, surrender is like the Garden of Eden. I'm going to be explaining that in this video. Surrender is like the Garden of Eden. Okay, great. So God took me to Genesis chapter one again and i had never seen it the way i saw it so in genesis chapter one god was saying that he i went to, he made me read it and by the time i was done he said to me this is what surrender looks like genesis um the creation the garden of eden i didn't understand what he was saying he said surrender means allowing me make choices for you surrendering your plans your dreams everything that you know and really put letting god take over yielding totally to god like just telling god you know what i'm dropping on my huge plans for your own plan for your own agenda god choose everything for me really choose everything for me and i was still trying to know how it connected with the book of genesis the lord said to me if i wanted um if I needed Adam's suggestion, Adam's plans, Adam's dreams, I would have created him on day one and tell him, okay, so do you think we should create light? Or, or after making light, should we separate light from darkness? Or should we just let it be? We'll be asking for his suggestions. And honestly, would you have been able to choose for yourself? Sometimes check out your choice. Like, you know, most times our choice looks like the best until we see God's choice for us, until we see God's idea, until we see how God sees what he's talking about. You see, when they were trying to choose David as a king, Samuel was quick to want him to choose the first son that came out. And he was like, you see, man, he said, I don't choose the way man choose, uh, makes his choice, right? I don't look at appearance, I look at the heart. And they chose David. And look at God's plan for David. It's a beautiful one. You can read the story. But honestly, let God choose for you. Now, this is a very difficult place to be in most times when because humans love to be in charge. So you just you don't know how to surrender. Yes, you can have dreams, but ask God, what was your plan when you brought me on it? Or you want to get married, Lord. Who would you have chosen for me? Okay? Just let him choose. Let him choose. Now, when you see people that live a surrendered life, God said to me, there are some pe there are people that are unkillable, indestructible. Is a man that is surrendered, and a man, a man that is surrendered, a man that has faith and obedience. You see this man? you can't destroy him because he's in the center of god's will for his life and he's following god's blueprint now in the place of surrender if you're surrendering your dreams for god's dreams then you should know that the goals and the to-do list belong to god not yours so yeah so when we talk about to-do lists you find out that you have to stay in presence of god Say, Holy Spirit, I'm here again. I surrender. What would you want me to do today? Now, most times, the physical routines we have and every structure that we are put in place usually are fighting for, they are fighting for your attention. But you must make sure that, because most times when God, the subject of surrender is trying to address that God is priority in your life his priority and every other thing can come after so most times i might have a to-do list that is a must i should do naturally but i'll first of all do all of god's to do lists to do list then do the other to do lists right so like and just really go about it don't worry the holy spirit will give you understanding so you see why god used the book of genesis because he chose this he chose to create the sky put the moon in place sun he the, the water the food every single thing he just he made everything then he made sure he made adam last 
because he knew how to make a great choice for him, right? So, and Adam came and he came in a prepared place. Now, most times when you live in a, live a surrendered life, you enjoy a lot of prepared blessings. It just looks like you really didn't labor, but you just came to enjoy. People that live a surrendered life enjoy a lot, a lot of favor. Like they have incredible favor, fearful favor. But the process of surrender is not easy. And I'm going to be addressing it gradually in other videos. Surrender in prayer, surrender in study life, surrender in your career, your finances, surrender in your relationships, surrender in raising your kids, surrender in different aspects of your life, okay? So your day-to-day -day activity. So I'll just be picking, maybe in a video I'll handle three practical steps of this uh, surrender in this area and all but it's like an introductory video to make you understand that surrender is beautiful but it's not easy but it's possible so I'm, i usually say something it might be difficult but it's possible it's possible all right so i just want i i pray that you have a surrendered heart it's not easy but it's possible okay have a surrendered heart so I pray for your hearts to be surrendered to Christ. Let him become Lord, Lord of your life. In Jesus' name, amen. So I'm going to say one more thing in this um, video about surrender. So surrender is that God becomes the Lord of your life. Because sometimes we are surrendered to things that we're not supposed to surrender to. Sometimes we are surrendered to food, friends, peer group pressure, surrender to some things without neighbor. You need to be intentionally surrendered to Christ. You know, when we give our lives to Christ, we say we receive you as our Lord and personal Savior. Honestly, you encountered God then as a personal Savior. But you see, the Lordship of Christ is how you join in Christ to the day you depart from here. Now, that's where God becomes Lord. What does it mean of Lord? Lord means master, owner. So God is the owner of your life. God is the master of your life. Would you let him be the master and the Lord of your life? So that's how you begin the journey of surrender, where he orders everything and you follow. So we can't exhaust the topic of surrender because it's a journey. I'm still journeying to I'm still journeying in it. It's not that it's something that uh, you just achieve in three months. No, something to, it's, it's a lifestyle. Okay, so um, I'm gonna make more videos on it and so that we'll understand and begin our own journey. I just, I just pray. pray that you have a surrendered life. All right. Thank you so much. Remember to share and see you next time.